This video is going to tell you how to use the wheel balancer that's at the back of the room. The first thing you have to understand are some of the markings that are on a tire. This says here P21570R15. What that means, first of all, the P means it's a passenger vehicle that this tire goes on. 215 is the number of millimeters from this edge to this edge. So that's 215 millimeters across there. The wider the tire, of course, the better, more contact with the road so you get um, better tread um, adhesion to the road. 70 is the aspect ratio. What that means is that this height of the sidewall is 70% of this width. So 70 in this case is that height is 70% of that width. And you can have different aspect ratios on a tire, or different tires that is. Uh, then we have uh, the R, which means the radial construction. Underneath this rubber are nylon cords and belts that go radially across and back to the sidewall to give strength. And 15 signifies that this tire will fit a 15 inch rim. So if I measured from this edge here to this edge here, it'd be 15 inches. Okay, so let's show you how to uh, balance the wheel. All the equipment is up here. Also, there's a duotang here that will show you how to use the machine step by step with pictures. So I'm just gonna put this here so I can show you part of this part. So the first thing you gotta do is grab the big spring that's on the tool board for it. Big end of the spring goes in first. Then you have to find a cone, a metal cone, that fits the center. So that one fits good. Some goes through, some stays on this side. That's a good choice. All right. So I'm gonna put that on there. Big end of the cone in. Then you take the tire and you put it on with the valve stem pointing outwards, away from the machine. Valve stem pointing away from the machine. And then we put on, we take these two pieces, clip them together so it stays as one. And that's going to then hold the tire up there and thread that on. and just give it a little, there, so it's tight, all right? Make sure there are no wheel weights on it, either side. Make sure that the tread doesn't have a lot of large rocks in it, so there's no large rocks. I have already checked the tire pressure and adjusted it to the recommended pressure which is written on the driver's door of the vehicle because what is written on the tire is the maximum pressure. I'm gonna set it to the recommended. Then you make sure the machine is on. There's the button at the back to turn it on. Make sure the power in the shop is on. You should see double zeros. If you do not see double zeros, then turn it off. Turn it back on until you see double zeros. Okay. First thing we had to, we had three measurements we had to put in. First one is A, written right there. To do that, we bring this tool over. We put it into the inner lip of the rim there. And we read what we have and it says, 5.2, because there's three, four, five point two. So I'm gonna punch in five, two. Oh, first hit A, A, five, two. There it is. Next one is W, which is diameter, or sorry, <laughs> width, not diameter, but width. So we take this caliper that was on the board, and we're going to, this should be fun, trying to do this with the camera. All right, into the inner portion there. Same on the other side, which you can't see. There we go, on the inner end of that lip. And we get a reading of six and a half when you stand over it, okay? So it's six and a half. So W, six, five. Automatically puts the decimal in. Diameter, now we do the diameter. I'm gonna hang this back up. We don't need this anymore. Diameter, I said was a 15 inch tire. So D for diameter, 150. 
Okay, I have the, my three measurements in. I want to see this light lit up that says dynamic. Okay, not static and not alloy. So if it's not lit up, you hit the mode button. There, it's back in. Let me check my measurements again. Good. Um, the, that's tight. All the rocks are out. I got all my measurements in. Bring down the hood for safety and hit the start button. The wheel spins. What you're looking for are any wobbles. Look at the bottom of the wheel. Okay, it's pretty straight. It's, we're making sure there's none of this wobbling this way or wobbling this way. If it wobbles this way, that's a bent rim. If it wobbles this way, that's tire damage, like a broken belt in the tire. So I lift that up. It's asking for 0.75 ounces on this side, one ounce on this side. So before we put the weights on, we got to make sure you guys understand the difference here. So here's two weights. They look the same. It says one ounce, which is 28 grams, one ounce, which is 28 grams. They look the same. All weights are made of lead with a steel hook. It doesn't matter if you are balancing a steel rim like this or an aluminum rim like this. Notice aluminum is shiny. It's also thicker because aluminum is soft, so they have to make the rim thick. Steel is strong, so they make the rim thin. So if we look at these two weights, one of these is for an aluminum rim and one is for the steel rim. How do I know? I look at that hook. That's very wide, that hook, compared to this one. That's a narrower hook. So the narrow hooks go on steel rims. The wide hooks go on aluminum rims. I'm dealing with a steel rim. So whatever weight, I gotta find myself a 0.75 ounce and a one ounce, and they have to have a narrow hook because they are going on a steel rim. So I've got my weights already here. So I'm gonna put on the points, I'm gonna put on the one ounce first so I can show you this. So I'm gonna be doing the far side of the tire because it's on the far side of the machine here. So I turn this tire, I'm turning the tire by hand until the little LEDs on that side, I'm only dealing with this side, flash side to side. And when they flash side to side, you get someone to hold it there or yourself. And you're going to then, with it flashing side to side, okay, get it there again, there we go. You're going to put this weight dead center over the tire on the rim. Okay, so I'm going to do that right now. So I need my tire tool, the little hammer that's on the tool board. So once again, I'm going to turn it till it's side to side. And right there, make sure I'm over the top. And then don't hit your finger and hit that on. Make sure it's all the way on. Then I'm going to do the other side. It's 0.75 ounces, so I'm going to turn it. There. Flashing side to side, so get someone to hold the tire in that position. All right, and I'm just going to quickly that on there you can't see this but that's fine you get you already saw me do the other side so I'm dead center over the top it's flashing side to side tap it on all right give it a good hit you got to make sure it's on there good so they're on there I'm gonna bring this back down there's the tool I used to tap them on with and hit start and if it is balanced I should get Zero, 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 zero. There we go. That wheel is balanced. Theoretically, by putting those weights on, I basically canceled out the heavy spot on the wheel so it should not create a vibration when we put it on the vehicle and go down the road at higher speeds. That is the whole purpose of balancing wheel is to prevent vibration in the steering wheel due to an imbalance, a heavy spot, either on the rim or the tire itself due to physical damage so the only other thing I should point out here is, uh, let's see here, what, what did I want to say? Oh my goodness. Uh, when you're all done, make sure all the equipment gets put away properly and make sure that you use the proper size wheel weight and the proper weight itself in terms of hook size. If you use 
a weight like this, which is designed for aluminum rim, on this steel rim, at high speed, this would fly off because the hook is too big. If I used a weight designed for a steel rim on an aluminum rim such as this, when I tried to pound that on, it would really damage that rim. It would scrape the clear coat and even dig into the aluminum of the rim, which would damage it. Okay, so be very careful with that. And that is how you use the tire balancer.